Okay, Joey. I think Hi, how are you? Okay, I can see you. Can you hear me? I sure can. So what I'm going to do now, you, you'd like to share the screen, right? You like to present? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to give you access to so you can set up your shared screen. You know how to do that or you need help yes. with that? I know okay. how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to make you co-host and you can now go ahead and share. You should have it now. All right. Can you see my yep. screen? I sure can. I'm pretty green and white. Okay, perfect. <laughs> right, so you're all set then. So I'm yes. going to go ahead now. In about two minutes, I'm going to admit them. And then I'll keep admitting till five after and then hand the mic over to you soon after that. Okay, we already have seven in the waiting room. Okay, perfect. They're, they're anxious for this information. So. Oh, that makes me excited. Yes, they're very anxious about it. They've been calling this morning about it. So. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so you're doing a wonderful job. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for setting all this up. Yeah. Okay. Um, anything else? I am close by during, the, and you can always say, Teresa, and I'll, um, if I find that people are unmuting themselves and talking over you, I'll mute them. OK, but I do start off muting them, muting everyone. Um, and then so you're let you're muted right now. I don't know if you realize that. Yeah, got it. And then what I'll have to do is unmute you once I get them all in. That's what I'll do. Uh -huh. So they don't interfere with your. OK, so it, it is now what time? 54. Another minute. Start getting them in. But um, this is a great program. So how long you've been doing this, Joey? Um, I've been here about nine months. Okay. Um, yeah. And I've kind of worked with the program a little bit longer in my previous role. So like a little, almost a year, I would say. Okay. okay. But um, yeah, it's been great. It's, it's been great. It's a great program. Yes. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start admitting. Okay. So. Hello, everyone. Uh, Hello, Mr. Risa. Mr. Risa. How you doing? I'm doing wonderful. And you? I'm doing fine today. Good. Good to see all of you. Those faces that I'm seeing so far. Um, I see Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi. <laughs> and, uh, Mr. Risa. Yes. To, um, as far as the a program go, go on Monday, do you you have to tell you in advance for some we want to say. Yeah, I, I'm setting that up right now. We've got uh, Isaiah setting it up. So go ahead and tell me what song while you're here. I'm going to Sam Cook. You want to sing Sam Cook, and that would be. <laughs> Nothing can change this love I have for you. Oh my goodness, that's my number one song. I love that song. I love it. I must listen to it at least twice a week. I have to too. <laughs> Oh, you do that too? Uh -huh. I love that song. That's me, my husband's favorite song. He's gone okay. now, but I still like it. Okay, nothing can change. Okay, I'll add you to that list, uh, Connie. Okay, thank you. Sam Cook, yes. All right, let's get some more people in. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Anybody else uh, interested in participating in the Valentine's um, karaoke? This is your last call because I'm now taking, setting up the itinerary. Once you transfer registers for 16 hours, get shine lab and mix professional makeup. Both the lab colors, both. Hi, Joseph. It's good to see you, Mr. Boone. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. Yep. Monique Poraj is suing her former boyfriend. I was just saying, you know, I do food bank too. You do the food bank as well? You mean yeah, you work church. there? Well, at your church? And I get surprised from the food bank and I get orders from them. Oh, you get orders. Ah. Oh. Yeah. You have to take care of your own tickets. So I'm affiliated with them, you know. Okay. Not get a refund on the trip, right? Your defendant says, well, he did in fact pay $600 towards the trip, and that's all he's going to pay. He said that he believes you got a full refund for the trip. That's what you said. Along with my philanthropic arm, I have a team of AI specialists because I'm expected by how Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Is that how Renee? Is Who am I speaking with? Miss Brown. How you doing? How Hi, are you, Harriet. Hi, Hi, how are you? I'm doing fine, Harriet. Good. I just got back in the house. I had to go out. <laughs> got back just uh, oh, you <laughs> just got back, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> It's beautiful outside. Yes. It is. Good afternoon. Good you afternoon. Who am I you speaking like to? Day. I see the person. Maria the Stewart. I, Maria Stewart. Good. I'm yes. glad you told. Should I change your, put your name no, on I, it? I could do it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Maria. Mm -hmm. Happy Friday, Miss Teresa. Happy Friday to you all. <laughs> Happy <Yay>. Friday. <laughs> It's Friday, Friday. yes. yes. <laughs> Celebration yes. time, right? Beautiful. Yes, it's beautiful <laughs> outside. It is? <laughs> yeah. It's always good when the sun is out, huh? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's something. It, it lifts About your the sun. spirit. You feel better. You yes. get a little sunshine on you. <laughs> yes, it always feels better. Yeah. There were some Even people out there. It was some people out there with shorts on today. For real? Whoa. <laughs> well, they're in a, quite a hurry, huh? Yeah. It's what nice I saw out there, but it's not kids. that nice. <laughs> it's not that nice, huh? Uh-uh. Yeah. I saw a lot of kids out there. Like everybody yeah. brought all their little ones. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Every corner, strollers, you know, little babies, toddlers, holding uh -huh. the rope, walking on the pavement. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. A lot of kids out there. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like um, we've got just about mostly everybody in. A couple more minutes and then we'll get started. Okay. So many people this time. Wow, I'm up to 33 already. 
I can't wow. keep up with, can't even keep up with writing the names, taking attendance. <laughs> <laughs> we all know what interests you are, right? Food. Yeah. <laughs> yum, yum. Yum, yum. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. Yeah. We're up to 33 already, and it's not even quite, is it one o'clock? Oh, it's 102. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, I'll keep writing the names while I can. Because I'd like to give everybody credit for attendance. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. How's everybody doing? Good. And yourself? All right. Nice day today. That's a sunny day. Beautiful day. I know. We never force on volume. So right now, just try to enjoy it. We're working on another time. Shout out to Isaiah. Hello, Isaiah. Oh, Isaiah, yeah, he, he's pretty really preparing for the Valentine's party. He's getting that oh, already. <laughs> Hi, Miss James, how you doing? Uh, who are you? Oh, Yvonne. Hi, Yvonne. I'm hi, how are you? I'm doing fine. Okay, so we have this lovely lady by the name of Joey, who's going to be talking to you all today about the food bank and the benefits of the food bank. So, what I'm going Teresa. to do? Yes. Hi, Teresa. Earl. Yes, sir. Uh, how you doing, Teresa? I'm doing fine. And Teresa, you? I was, you know, I just talked to these people the other day, and uh -huh. they put and they put me in, and they supervisor supposed to be calling me back. Where? What? What people? Uh, seniors. I mean, uh, uh, the food bank people for uh, aid, senior aid. Okay, well, we guess we can ask these questions when we speak with Joey. But hold all your questions till the okay. end by putting your hands up. And I usually go with first come, first serve based yeah, on the I hands. Okay. So just mm -hmm. make sure you put your hands up by the chat. Okay. You'll be able mm -hmm. to answer all those questions for you. Okay? Okay. All right. Uh, I'm actually going to hand the mic over to her now because we've got we've got 38 in already. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, so good afternoon, all. We have Joey from the um, the Capital Area Food Bank, who's going to tell you all about Commodity Supplemental Food Program, known as CSFP. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to hand the mic over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute everyone, and then. I I'm going to mute everyone and then I'm going to unmute Joey so that she can be the only one that's speaking. I've asked her to unmute herself. Then um, go ahead, Joey, and take the floor. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for letting me join your Friday seminars. I'm very excited to be here and answer any and all of your questions. Um, can everyone see my screen and hear me okay? Okay, perfect. All right, so as Ms. Teresa mentioned, I'm going to be talking with you guys about the Commodity Supplemental Food Program, which is run by the Capital Area Food Bank, which is where I work. Okay. And then if my slides don't advance, just feel free to say something. <laughs> Um, so first, my name is Joey Hucko. I'm a partnership coordinator for the Commodity and Supplemental Food Program at the Capital Area Food Bank. Um, so first, we're going to answer the question, what is the Commodity Supplemental Food Program? Um, it is a USDA-funded food assistance program for seniors ages 60 years and older. Uh, in D.C., the program is ran by the Capital Area Food Bank, which is the local agency and DC Health, which serves as the state agency. It is nationally known as CSFP, or the Commodity Supplemental Food Program, and locally known here in Washington, DC as Grocery Plus. So each month, participants are provided with 30 to 40 pounds of free nutritious groceries, and these groceries come in a box that is pictured right here. Um, in Washington, D.C., we serve around 5,411 participants each month, and we also serve uh, two counties in Maryland. So that would be Montgomery County and Prince George's County. 
and we serve 850 seniors each month in those counties and that is ever growing. Um, so in Washington, D.C., we are located at 79 distribution locations. These distribution locations are a combination of our Capital Area Food Bank RAN walk-in center, our home delivery program, which includes homebound participants, and a temporary delivery option for participants who are exhibiting a life change in which they temporarily need delivery. Um, so for example, maybe surgery, a family member who provides transportation is out of town. Um, we accommodate all of those things. And then we're also found at community sites such as senior wellness centers and residential sites. And these sites are run by uh, our Capital Area Food Bank staff, as well as um, our volunteer site leaders. So in order to participate in the program, there are a few eligibility requirements. Um, so first, you must be 60 years of age, um, a resident of DC, and meet our income guidelines. Um, these are our guidelines listed here, um, and they're based on household size. Um, so yeah, those are eligibility requirements to sign up. Other than that, um, if you just fill out an application with us, which I will get to, um, you're enrolled in the program. So what kind of food will you receive? So we provide non-perishable goods. So that is 30 to 40 pounds of non-perishable goods each month. Um, so I'll go through what each box contains and that is altered based on the month and based on what we have in stock, um, what we order. So it'll change a little bit and we, we really try our best to provide a variety of things. So you're not receiving the same fruits, vegetables, and proteins every single month. So we provide two to eight vegetables, two to three fruits, three plant-based proteins, two to three meat proteins, two grains, two cereals, one block of cheese, one to two juices, and two milks. Um, pictured here is the contents of the box, but I'll go into what one specific box in October of this past year contained so you can get a better idea. And um, so we provided green beans, sliced potatoes, peaches, mixed fruit, apricot halves, vegetarian beans, kidney beans, canned chicken, canned salmon, brown rice, long grained rice, shredded wheat cereal, two milks, apple juice, and the cheese. Um, so the cheese is the only perishable item that we do provide each month. And we refrigerate that and keep that cool until um, every distribution. So what is Grocery Plus? Um, I'm sure you've heard me say a little interchangeable names and perhaps you've heard of the program, Grocery Plus, CSFP, Commodity Program. There's a lot of different names, but they're all the same thing. Um, so Grocery Plus uh, is what CSFP is locally known as here in DC. And it's the combination of two USDA funded programs. So the first being the Commodity Supplemental Food Program where we provide participants with the monthly food box. And the second being the Senior Farmer's Market Nutrition Program. So each farmer's market season, so that's usually June through October, uh, all participants enrolled in Grocery Plus will automatically receive $50 worth of vouchers that can be used to purchase produce at farmer's markets throughout DC. And this is a really great thing because it makes enrollment a lot easier as once you apply to the program, you're automatically guaranteed to receive those vouchers. Um, and we've seen you know, that to be a great benefit of the program. Um, in some markets, double value, it really depends. And we're located at farmer's markets all across DC in all eight wards. So um, I'm sure that there's one close by to where you all are, which is great. And then in addition, we also have the SNAP Ed text messaging program. Um, 
So with this program on our application, you can either opt into the program or opt out if you would like. And with that, um, us and the SNAP Ed team at DC Health provide program updates, um, recipes, fun facts about food. And we also cater these text messages to what is contained in the box. So if there's a specific vegetable, we'll give recipe ideas um, for that vegetable, which I know I'm, I'm not the best cook, but I struggle with trying to come up with ideas on, on things to cook sometimes. So that is a great added thing that we have at the program. So how can you apply? Um, I'm not sure if any of you have seen um, Grocery Plus, the program promoted at any of the places that you visit, perhaps in the buildings that you live in, um, as we are located a lot throughout the city. But an easy way to apply is to go to our East Capitol Walk-In Center. Um, that is located at 5601 East Capitol Street Southeast inside the DC Scholars Public Charter School. Um, and so that is fully run by our Capital Area Food Bank staff. And it is open Monday through Friday on the occasional Saturday as well. Um, so on Mondays, we're open 8.30 to 12 p.m. And on Tuesdays through Fridays, we are open from 8.30 a.m. until 4. So that is a really great option um, as some of our other distribution locations and some of our staff run distribution locations um, they only hold their distributions for say a couple hours on the same day every single month. So for example, um, it'd be the second Tuesday of the month and it'd be held from 10 a.m. to noon. So if you're someone who you know, would like more flexibility, visiting the East Capitol Walk-In Center is a great option because you can go at any time of the month. Um, you know, whether you need more food in the beginning of the month or toward the end of the month, it gives you that flexibility. But again, if you are enrolled at any of our other sites, you're always welcome to visit our East Capitol Walk-In Center to pick up. Um, and so once you get to the East Capitol Walk-In Center, our staff there can provide you with an application and all they would need from you is a valid ID um, that just shows your birthday and your address. Um, this can come in a couple different forms, whether you have a valid DC ID or if you have a bill and a birth certificate. Um, and there's a few other options, but just mainly ensuring that your address and birthday are um, prominently displayed so that we can check that. And then from there on out, you would need to provide your ID or that um, identification forms, whichever you decide every single month that you were to pick up your box. That is a USDA requirement. Um, so if you do choose to go to the walk-in center, you can receive a box that day. If you decide to sign up through one of our other sites, um, you may not receive a box on the same day, but we enroll people constantly into the program. So there's no um, timeline in which you have to enroll. Um, and even with, receiving the farmer's market vouchers. Um, if you were to enroll in July and the program started in June, you would still receive those vouchers. So um, I think that is important to know. Um, we're always here to help. If you just call our main line listed here, um, we can connect you with a site that is closest to you. Um, we have a mapping system to kind of figure out the best fit for you. Um, and the site that you're the most comfortable going to. And we can connect you with that site leader or if it's our staff and, and make sure that you get enrolled. So our team here is really great and we try our best to work with each and every individual to, to serve them in the way that they need. Um, and lastly, we are currently conducting a survey, a 15 to 20 minute survey to better understand our older adult clients. Um, the first 1,000 participants will receive a $15 gift card. Um, there's three ways that you can take the survey. So you can go to the website, you can scan this QR code, or you can call the number. Um, and this will be, this phone line is open until the end of February. So 
Um, we still need more participants. So if you want to share your feedback, um, we would really appreciate it. And what I will also do is um, send this flyer and a few other flyers with program information so you don't have to worry about jotting everything down. Um, Miss Teresa has graciously offered to pass along this information to all of you. Um, so that way you guys can contact us and um, you don't have to write it all down or, or remember anything I just said. You'll just have it right there in front of you. Um, and that is all I have. It's a short presentation, but I'm happy to answer any and all questions. Um, so I will open the floor. I see the chat has some questions. Uh, yeah. Is there any way that they can deliver the food or do you have to go and pick it up? Yeah, <clears throat> so we have a few delivery options. Um, we have a homebound program, which requires a doctor's note um, to be enrolled in that program, but we also have a temporary delivery option. So um, with that option, we um, enroll clients into that. And then in two to three months, we follow up to see if, you know, their status has changed or um, just their circumstance in general has changed. Um, but I will say there are some sites and you may be located close to some of them that do deliver. So we don't necessarily organize them. So here, um organizes the deliveries and delivers door to door. And there's a few other sites that I know do that as well. Um, so, but we're definitely open to, to working to figure out the best solution to you. Um, and delivery is definitely an option. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All um, right, the, the next um, question, the next person on the um, question list is Earl. Go ahead and um, unmute Earl and ask your question. Okay, uh, Joe, uh, I was telling Teresa earlier that I had got a notice for that and I had called them right away, but this was the uh, government of the District of Columbia Department of uh, Aiding and Community Living. Could you say that's the same? Um, so we work under DC Health, so not the Department mm -hmm. of Aging and Community Living, but um, if there's a way I can help, I'm, I will try my best. Um, okay. You know, see what I was saying? Uh, I had talked to someone and they uh, took my application over the phone. Uh, mm -hmm. They said their supervisor will get right back with me. It's been about maybe three days now and I'm giving them the chance. But they had passed out a lot of flyers. As you can see it from here, what I got. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is this for the Grocery Plus program you filled out now? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. So um, yes, it is. what I can do is, is take down your name and number and Good. I'll give you a call once we finish um, with this meeting. How does that sound? That sounds good. Okay. Your first so, name? Earl Lewis. And your phone number? My phone number is 202-878-4513. All right, I'll give you a call after we finish here. Okay, Joe, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, Earl. Mm -hmm. Our next question is um, Vic Marina. Go ahead, Vic, and unmute. I will ask you to unmute. Go ahead, Vic. Vic Marina, it's your turn. Hmm. I guess he's no longer with us. All right. Shirley, Thomas, please um, unmute and ask your question. Shirley Thomas, can you hear me? Okay, one minute. Go ahead, Shirley. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I was trying to... Uh... Ask, uh, find out like if you permanently um, handicapped, are, are you supposed to uh, have the letter from the doctor once uh, before you apply? Um, you can send it to us after, um, just as long as we get it. 
uh, within two months is usually our timeline. We know how hard it is to, to get to the doctor's office sometimes. So we, um, we can accommodate that. Oh, okay. 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 Is that, is that it, Shirley? Our yeah. next person is Gloria Franklin Austin. Go ahead, Gloria. I'm going to ask you to unmute. Yes. Um, I'm trying to figure out, is the Grocery Plus and the DC Produce Plus the same thing, or is it different? Those are two separate programs, but you mm -hmm. can be enrolled in both. Um, okay. So if you were enrolled in Produce Plus, yeah. you would still receive um, your farmer's market vouchers from Grocery Plus. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, our next question is coming from Laverne. Go ahead, Laverne. I didn't even know if the treatment was going to work. Go ahead, Laverne. Trying to get back in. I'm just sharing some information with you because I do um, volunteer work for different senior buildings. And in my going to the buildings, when it's time for the commodity food to come, now they're since the pandemic, they're bringing the food and leaving it at the doors, which is fine, instead of them having to come down and get it. But a lot of times, they're, they're not utilizing the food. So it's going to waste or it's going in the trash. It's in the trash room. It's in the hall. Most of the uh, managers are saying now that both of the buildings that um, they can't be leaving the food out there in those areas like that. So even though we are all getting the food, they're not utilizing the food. They're not utilizing. So it's just a lot of food going to waste. And a lot of times I take all the food across the street and give it to the men, the ministry instead of just letting them throw it away. So I don't know how to handle that. I'm just giving you some information on that's what's happening a lot in the senior building. And maybe I don't know how beneficial it is. Yeah, I appreciate you passing that along. You know, any information is always welcome. Um, we definitely see that problem and are, and are aware of it as well. Um, one thing that we always try to do is enroll more people into the program. Um, and with more people, we're able to then potentially serve some people every other month if someone doesn't want their box every single month. Um, and with more people enrolled in the program, then we have the ability to serve people on our wait list who um, aren't necessarily guaranteed a box every single month. But um, so that's one kind of way we mitigate that. Um, another way. Another way. Um, can I ask you, those with the TV going in the background, please turn your TVs down or mute yourself. Please do so. Okay, I'll I'll get I'll get it back. All right. So our next question is coming from Harriet Brown. Go ahead, Harriet. Can you hear me? Yes. Um, Harriet, go ahead. It's your turn, Harriet. Harriet, it's your turn. Okay. I muted. Yes. Um, hi. I wanted to know about the um, fresh vegetables program. Like how yeah. you get, how you sign up for that? Yeah. So you sign up for Ooh, the man, I'm Senior the Farmers stuff. Market Nutrition Program when you uh -huh. sign up for the Commodity Supplemental Food Program. So they go together. So once you're signed up for the Commodity Supplemental Food Program, um, when farmer's market season comes around, you'll automatically be signed up to receive those uh, $50 vouchers to use at the farmer's market. Oh, okay. Thank you, Harriet. Our next Thank question you. Is, mm -hmm. is coming from Yvonne Johnson. Go ahead, Yvonne. On mute. Yvonne Johnson. Real quick? Did you see what the qualifications are? Uh, excuse me, you have to be in a queue. Um, you yeah, have to, yeah, you must it. put, not... you must put your hands in the chat and then be in the queue. Go ahead, yeah. Yvonne Johnson, it's your turn. Yeah, yeah someone else uh, asked the question, so I'm okay now. You're okay, so we'll lower yeah. your hands. Our next question is coming from Joyce's iPad. Joyce's 
iPad. Yes, yes. Hi, but uh, the, uh, she um, she answered my question already. Okay. Uh, when she said, because I was going to ask, why can't they send food out every other month rather than every month? Because the residents are are not utilizing the food. Um, some they're in the trash. They're putting them out back. <laughs> So she answered that question uh, for me because I can't understand. There's too many canned goods, you know, and the residents are not using all of them. Yeah. They get food stamps. So why can't you all maybe check with the facilities and see if they can come every other month rather than every month? Yeah. So it's definitely an in an individual kind of choice if someone doesn't want the box that month. Um, you know, we understand that completely. As it is a government program, we do have right. to, you know, provide the box each month. Okay. Um, but you know, as a participant, you're you're able to, you know, not pick up or say, hey, not this month. Um, we do understand that in some instances it is a lot of food for some individuals. Um, so we definitely, we hear okay. that. And, well, and just, yeah, no, go ahead. Okay, so we have another question coming from Vera Moore. Vera good Moore. Afternoon. Good afternoon. I come on late. I wanted to find, is, is it income based or is it for all seniors in Washington, DC? So it is income based. Um, our income guidelines are based on household size. Um, I will also send out that sheet with the income guidelines to Ms. Okay. Teresa and she'll send it out to all of you. Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate yeah. it. Bye. Our next question is coming from Michael's iPhone. Go ahead, Michael. Michael's iPhone. Michael iPhone. Hello. Go ahead, Michael. Yeah. My question was, um, can someone pick it up for you? Like my wife, I'm not, yeah. um, I'm not, I'm not very mobile. I use a walker. Yeah. And, okay. So we, um, on the application, once you fill it out, there'll be an option for to list a proxy and a proxy is someone who can pick up for you on your behalf each and every month. Um, so you can list anyone you'd like and all they need to do is just bring their ID with them to pick up. And once they're listed as an official proxy, um, they can pick up for you whenever. So when you see oh, the application, need... make sure to add your wife to that list. They, so they don't need my ID, just their ID. Yeah, once they're listed and, and as your proxy, just their ID is perfect. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, what, uh, my wife want, hello, one more question. Yeah. <laughs> My wife wanted to know what's the hours at 5601 East Capitol. So we're open 8.30 to 12 on Mondays and then 8.30 to 4 on Tuesday through Friday. And I'll also send out um, a sheet with that information to Miss Teresa to send out to all of you. So you have the phone number, address, and hours. So initially, I got to go in and fill out the application first. Right? Yeah. So initially, you would, would need to do that. Um just because we do have to verify your ID in the beginning. But after that, um, your wife can pick up for you. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And the next question is coming from Vic Marina. Vic, go ahead. Yeah, I, was, I couldn't get off mute before. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Is that Vic? Vic Marina? Yeah. Can, go ahead, can you Vic. Hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, um, I couldn't get off mute before. Um, so you said it is income based because originally we were told that it was not. You didn't. And all seniors qualify because of age. For like most of us, probably single. What is it for one person? So for one person, they just changed. So give me one moment. For one person, monthly income is fourteen seventy three. Monthly? Yes. Okay. And um, is there any other way besides going to that location in Capitol Hill? Is there a Can you look at the list to get a closer location? Because that's pretty far from me and I don't drive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what, what we can do too is, um, again, I'll send out my phone number in addition to our team's phone main line. 
And you can give us a call. And what we'll do is, is use our map to find the site that is closest to you. Okay. Thank um, you. And yeah. so Teresa is going to email us all the info information like that. Yep. Definitely. Okay. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. At the end of the program, I will do so. Any other questions for Joey? Any other questions? I'm not yes, what's the any. income for a family of two? Uh, 1984. Thank you. Okay. Joey, mm -hmm. a question. Typically, what if you covered it, don't do it, but typically what's covered in the box? What's uh, in the box? Typically in the box, it's what's well, mainly non-perishable goods. We provide, you know, canned vegetables, canned um, plant proteins, canned proteins like chicken and salmon and tuna, whole grain options. Um, we always provide milk. We provide juice. Um, okay, I got it. It's a lot of a lot of manufactured food, and you're gonna qualify for the food the uh, farmers market at the same time. Yep, and that will start in uh, June is when we we're normally able to start giving out those vouchers. So. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Any other questions? Uh, I see a hand. Um, I see someone flagging. Is, is that you? Who's that is sh showing their hands? Okay. Is that Annie? Annie, would you like to ask a question? It's Queen. Hello. Hi. Oh, hi. Hello. How are you doing? Miss Queen, I have a question. Can you hear me? Um, this is not Queen. This is Teresa. And you're speaking to Joey, who's the food bank representative. But, and this is Miss Queen trying to ask. Oh, question. this is Wanda Queen. Thank Wanda you. Wanda Queen. <laughs> yes. Go ahead, Wanda. <laughs> hi. Thank you for the information that you provided for us. But I did not finish getting the um, food bank telephone number on Minnesota Avenue. Could yeah. you provide that number to us? Yeah, please? Teresa will send out the number so you don't have to worry about writing it down. We'll send oh, it. Oh, no, I call. wanted to call. I wanted to call like ASAP. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How about uh, I give you, I'll give you my number to help you out. Okay. <laughs> um, I know you, provi you provided it on the, the printout that you had with the hours and the, and the number was there, but, but by the time I got my pad, it was gone. No, no worries. Um, my number is 202-921-1111. Okay. And I'm seven, happy to help out anyone on seven, the Seven, four, six, five. Yep. Okay. And that's Jody. Jody. That's my number. Yep. All right. Thank so, you so much. And, and Miss Teresa will send that all out to you guys as well with my number included and you can all call me. So okay. thank you. You're welcome. Our next question is coming from Karen Murphy. Go ahead, Karen, unmute. Yes. I wanted to know what type of um, documentations do you have to have for the application? Yeah. So um, just a valid DC ID if you have that. Um, if you don't, um, valid identification that shows your address and um, your birthday. So for example, a birth certificate and a utility bill, um, a valid driver's license. Um, so we just need to be able to see your birthday and address if that helps. Okay, what about the income? Uh, we don't check for income. It's just a, in a word of mouth honor based system. Oh. Yeah, so nothing, oh, that's important to know. We don't need any documents verifying your income. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, our next question is come from Carolyn Lawson. Go ahead, yes. Carolyn. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Uh, I live in a senior building and once a month, a big truck pulls up and they bring these boxes of food here. I haven't signed up for it. Is this the same company? Um. It, it may be. Uh, does it look like, um, it, is it a big brown box that says Grocery Plus? Well, I don't know what it's, what's on it, but it's a big brown box and there are a lot of people in the community room and apparently they've signed up for the program and the truck pulls up in the parking lot and yeah. uh, every month they get this food. 
So yeah, do you all so, deliver food or you have to go up to you and get the food? Um, it depends on the site oh, that you're yeah. enrolled at. Um, again, I'm happy to help you out and figure out you very well may be located at one of our, our sites that are already existing. So that would be be great. So I'm happy once Miss Teresa sends out my number, feel free to give me a call. Um, and um, I can help try to figure out if it's the same program or not. Okay, thanks. Excellent job. Have a good day. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. Any other questions? The floor is open for questions. Hello. Is this Yvonne Johnson? Uh, okay, yeah. so we have Yvonne. Go ahead, Yvonne. Uh, yes, uh, during the summer months, I believe you said uh, they had market, uh, a farmer market style mm -hmm. of places around. Uh, are they all in Washington, D.C.? Yeah, so the, the vouchers are specifically for our D.C. program, so Grocery mm -hmm. Plus, um, but they're, the markets that you can use the vouchers at are all across D.C., and when once we hand out the vouchers, we also provide a market guide, which shows all of the markets that will accept it and which vendors at those markets. Um, and again, like I mentioned, some markets double your coupons, which is, is great. So okay, and, that, and you'll have that on your information that you send us. Or yeah, so we don't give out the vouchers until June. Um, so yeah. when June comes, um, you would need to enroll into the program first through the application. And then you, in June, when we have the vouchers ready, we would give you that with a market guide that shows all the markets in DC that you can use them at. Okay, because that might be the only one I would be interested in. Yeah, so you would automatically you know, receive a food box um, with your enrollment into the program as oh, they are a dual enrollment type of thing. But um, if you want to wait until June to sign up, um, we have a lot of people who do that as well. So, okay. Any other But you questions? don't have to, if you don't want the box, but you want the ability to go to attend the market, uh, if you sign up, does that mean automatically there's going to be a box every month? Yes, um, the option to get a box every month. Um, if you don't pick up for three months, you're out of the program. <laughs> yeah. Um, but again, an option is to sign up in June, pick up the box get your vouchers as they are a one time a year thing. So you're only getting them at that time. So you wouldn't, it's not like you would receive a voucher for $10 one month about you're receiving all $50 worth at one time. Um, and so an option is if, if you just want to do that, um, you know, we encourage you, you to stay in the program, but I can't force any of you to stay in the program, but um you know, you can sign up in June, get your box, get your vouchers, and then choose to no longer participate. That we okay. see that often. So, Jay, uh, are you saying that the voucher of fifty dollars is for the entire season, or is it fifty dollars per? It's for the entire season, fifty dollars. Okay. But and so somebody else said this because um, I go on vacation, and I know that if you say if you don't get the box for three months. But is it possible for people to have a vacation hold? You know, you know you're going to be away at that time. Yeah, just let us know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you just let us know, um, you know, we'll make a note of it and and know that you'll or you're away. Um, so you don't waste um, things. Thank you. Yeah, and so again, just to reiterate, you, you do for the most part need to go and pick up your box. So if one month you don't want the box or don't need the box you don't have to go and pick it up um so just to clarify you're not just always going to get one dropped at your door that's kind of dependent on which site you're enrolled at and some of them do deliver to your door some don't um some as someone mentioned previously will hold it in community rooms and things of that nature so any Hello. Else have any questions yes I already get a box from Bread for the City. 
Does, oh. that mean, does that mean that I can get this one too? So this is the same, if you're already enrolled at the program at Bread for the City and, and getting the box from them, you are already in the program. So um, you're all set. And then come June, you'll receive your farmer's market vouchers from Bread for the City. But if you're not sure, again, just give me a call and leave a message and um, I'll get back to you and, and verify if we're thinking of the same program or not. I know there's a lot of food boxes out there. Okay, give me your number again. Yeah, it's 202-921-7465. Okay. Yeah, and again, Miss Teresa will send um, out this information to you all. So don't worry if you don't have a pen and paper nearby. Okay. There might be, so there might be other locations closer to us on the information that she sent. Like I live in Southeast, so. Yeah, yeah, there's usually sites um, there's sites all around us. I mentioned we have 80 distribution locations. So um, it's it's likely that one is, is closer to you than another. Okay, I guess we've come to that point where there aren't any more. Oh, oh yes, see. there's one. I see Denise. Denise, go ahead. Go ahead yeah. and Hi. speak. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I've come ask you, can you do the application online? Unfortunately, we can't yet. I hope one day we're able to, um, but no, not online because we would need to see um, your ID. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I got you. And you say the uh, vouchers, you were to get $10 every month until it's over to make 50 you get 50 right at the right when you get them, you get all 50. So you can decide how and when you want to spend them. And again, like I mentioned, some markets do double um, your vouchers. Do, yeah. Do they, do they expire on you if you don't use them? They right do away? expire at the end of October. So you have from June to October 31st, usually it is uh, to use them. And if, oh. if there's a change, you'll be aware of it. So we'll make sure that we get all that information. Is this what they call senior week? Um, thank you so much. No, that's a different program. This is um, the Senior Farmers Market Nutrition Program. But I guess it is similar to senior WIC. I'm, I'm familiar with that where you get the vouchers. Oh, there is a program called senior WIC? Perhaps we can get them to come on and talk about their program. All right. Yeah. Um, Earl has a question. Go ahead, Carl. Earl, go ahead. Unmute. You need to unmute, Earl. Go ahead. All right. Uh, Teresa, uh, I want to just let Joy know that I was looking over the fly that I had and um, it's a lot different from what uh, 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 she was aiding us with. This was from the Aiding Community Living of a Delivering Food Program. And like I was getting that one time every Friday. So it wasn't the same thing that she showed. It was just like, like dinner meals and a couple of breakfast meals that they was giving out. So uh, I didn't want to get misunderstood. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not familiar with that exact program, but. Mm -hmm. um, it's government I, Dixie of Columbia. That's the uh, Department of Aging program. It's yeah. Uh, so I work with the Department of Health. Um, OK. So mm -hmm. this is under a different program. But I hope that whoever said they were going to contact you reaches out soon. Yeah, I believe they will because they are pretty good because I first started uh, east of the river. They, yeah. Uh, yeah, they got me through the program. And, uh, yeah, and so I we have. Know I was through this, this but, but they was telling me they got me through the program and they do a pretty good job with me on other things too. And yeah, so clear. we actually, uh, East River is one of our, our distribution locations. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, John. Yeah. Okay. I guess that's it, huh? Well, we'd like to thank uh, Joey. Can everyone just 
Raise your hands, wave, tell Joey how much you appreciate Thank you, Joey. Thank you. 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 Oh, Vanessa Gordon. Oh, her hands just popped up. Go ahead, Vanessa. Yes. Thank you very much for the information. You did mention that we were going to get gift certificates today, or is that the $50 that you're going to get for the farmer's market? So um, if you're the gift certificates, um, they're associated with this survey that we're currently um administering um and i will send out that flyer i can't guarantee that everyone will get a gift card but it's the first a thousand callers or participants mm -hmm. get a 15 dollar gift card um the vouchers again for the farmer's market those are given in the spring once you're enrolled into the program okay thank you you're welcome okay all right, we also have another hand up. No, that was the last person, Vanessa. Okay, mm -hmm. I guess we've come to that end of the day. So we want to thank Joey um, for coming on and giving us such good information. Mm -hmm. And um, those of you, um, she will be giving me all of the, her contact information. Oh, we have Maria, Maria Stewart. I see you. Go ahead, Maria. No, I don't have a question. I was just giving her a thumbs up. Oh, you're giving her a thumbs up. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, Maria. She, I'm sure she appreciates that. I do. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And um, I'll get that. So she gets it to me. I'll, it'll be on the mail to all of you. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank, all you. So thank much. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. It was Happy nice to meet all of you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Miss James. You're thank welcome. You. Enjoy okay. your day. Be encouraged. Enjoy your day. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll, I'll see you all Monday, right? At that Valentine's party, right? Yeah. Yes. Dress up. Dress up if you care to. We're gonna have karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> what time is the party? Karaoke. What time is the party? One o'clock. Okay, All thank right. you. Get, you're getting the link tomorrow. You'll see the link in your mail tomorrow. Oh, Oscar is already dressed. He's got on his bow tie. <laughs> 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 okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye bye. 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 Have a good, good weekend. Okay, bye -bye. enjoy. Uh -huh. You too. Bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.